It's, they had the kind of hot and cold start that we've kind of come to expect. Nothing that would indicate they're in for any kind of a breakout season. And, you know, perhaps with a roster move or two later on, they can start to break out of that pack. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Five to shoot. And Hampton gets it to go on the assist by Jokic. Well, the outcome tonight, Greg, could come down to the big men up front. You know, versatility will be key. The front court that can be physical but also pass it. Impact on the game. Hampton, that one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So a chance. Okay, David, much appreciated. Here's Maxson following the score by Jamal Murray. It's rebounded by Najee. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Here's Porter. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Four on three as they bring it up. Shoots the three. And that one's good. Maxi. Maxi's got 13. Naji. Good D by Embiid. The 76ers leading by seven. Here's Simmons. And the layup's good off the glass. The quickness, the size, the speed of Simmons. Catway in terms of those taller playmakers. Yeah, you're spot on there, Greg. I mean, he's unique. Really unique and gifted in that regard. And with all great passers, there are a couple of things they do well. One is they see a play or two ahead. They anticipate and throw the ball where it should be going, anticipating that. And the other thing is the timing with which they make their passes. It's usually right at the right time, the opportune time. For From three, first quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Joe, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. The 76ers shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. You know, I know that's an aspect they've been trying to address as a team. I mean, they've got to get those free throw numbers up and improve. Good on both. 